Hello everybody, tis I the rumpled one. Let's see, it's Tuesday, January 29th, the year 2013. I'm here on the Oregon coast, uh, just getting some of those negative ions that I was uh, telling you guys about. Take another little vantage point here, looking at the mighty Pacific out there, out past the lighthouse. Look up the coast to the north. I don't know how much you can really see on the uh, on this camera here, but anyway, oh, I was looking on the internet, reading the news again. It's retarded. Yeah, I guess you're not supposed to say the word retarded anymore. What's wrong with saying retarded? If something's retarded, it's retarded. And I have to agree. If they want to have a Super Bowl in February, they should have it in a dome stadium or somewhere where the weather's warm, not out where you freeze you. You know what's off. I mean, have you ever played football? When it's freezing, I remember having to tape up the ear holes in my helmet. And then everything is just frozen solid. When you hit, it hurts. It hurts a lot worse. Your muscles get tight real quick. It's just retarded. So I, if that offends somebody, well, you know what? That's your choice to be offended. Oh, I tell you, there's just more and more stuff like that on the news. And okay, now I guess Ray Lewis may have taken some banned substance. And we're going to make a big headline out of that. More fiddling while Rome burns. I mean, really? Is that what we have to talk about? Oh, and I guess what? Rihanna's boyfriend? Uh, is that the one? Gets in trouble, got into another fight? I mean, who cares, really? What, what is it with this fascination about these things that really don't have anything to do with the majority of people? You know, not like the economy or the job situation or, you know, the Obama and his cronies trying to strip away our, our liberties and freedoms and trampling over the Constitution. No, that's not what's discussed in the headlines. Or all that pork that was in the Hurricane Sandy relief package. I mean, it's just it's just stupid. It's retarded. I think I'm going to... I remember growing up, we used to call retards retards because they were retarded. But I guess now they're mentally challenged. I mean, give me a freaking break. That's what's wrong with this country. Once again, you're tr trying to make something that's one thing into something else. I mean, it's like the uh, undocumented workers, illegal immigrants. No, they're invaders, they're trespassers. You know, by, by changing the name, it still arose. I mean, it's just retarded what these people are doing. And be like me, going out in that water. Look at those, look at how it's breaking. Yeah, I'm gonna go swim in there. You know what, I'd, I'd drown. I, I'd be dead in about 10, 10 minutes. And anybody that goes out there trying to swim in that is retarded. And, and Obama's immigration policy is retarded. I was listening to the radio on the way in to Mayberry this morning and they were talking about how I think it was back in 86 when they had immigration reform the first time. They said they wanted to allow a little over a million immigrants, give them the path. Now we, they say it's 11 million, but you know the government, whenever they want to tell you something, it's either three times more or three times less depending on what makes them look good. It's just ridiculous. You know, unemployment figures, they're always revising them. You know what unemployment figure they should use is how much money is spent per week on unemployment. That's real simple. It's all computerized. The checks come out. That'd be easy to add up, but no, no, no. They're not going to do that. That'd make things look bad. The people might revolt. I tell you, 
my fellow viewers, my fellow Americans, something's going to happen. It's going to happen in this country. I, I just have that feeling. Just like the way those waves are breaking, I think the, the, we the people are going to break. We're going to come crashing down on some of these politicians because I think we've just about had it. I know I have. I mean, I've just about pushed to the brink. Hey, look at that. Don't really see many airplanes on the coast. Anyway. Yeah, you'd have to be retarded to try and go swimming in that. Maybe I'll find another spot and do a five minute mini vacation. But I tell you, between the headlines of the news, it just makes somebody want to go stark raving mad because what they're choosing to focus on. Fiddling while Rome burns. But there's just certain forces like those waves that it doesn't matter what you call them, they're still going to come crashing down. And that makes me think of one other thing. You know, Obama and his slogans. Hope, change, forwards, yes we can. Well, you know what? It's all malarkey. It's all BS. Because everything he, he says is about what we can't do. We can't do this, we can't do that. When in history has America been the country of we can't? It's always been we can do it. So what do you mean we can't get rid of all these illegal aliens, all these trespassers, all these invaders? You leave it up to the American people, we'd have this country cleaned out by the end of the week. All you'd have to do is put a bounty on, their, on illegal immigrants' heads. Want it. <laughs> And they'd be scurrying out of here. That's all it would take. Now you might think, oh, isn't that a little draconian and a little far off? Well, I don't think so. It worked before Operation Wetback back in the 50s. Now, I didn't say wanted dead or alive. I just said wanted. But just that fact alone, I think, would keep most of them from coming in. And then the ones that did, we could we just apprehend them either send them back or put them in prison work camps give them the sheriff Joe Arpaio I'm sure he could put them to make them work put them in some pink underwear and give them bologna sandwiches they probably wouldn't want to come here take away all the free stuff that they get you know, when was America ever the land of the free stuff. Here, just come, you get something. No, it was always opportunity. Opportunity is not the same as results. But that's been lost. All those slogans, hope, change, yes we can. It's just ridiculous. It's retarded. Because everything Obama says is like this complete opposite. I think he probably reads Orwell's doublespeak every day. Well, I guess this turned into another rant. Maybe this will just be my week of ranting, and then we can go back to our regular schedule programming. <laughs> well, I am the Rumpel One, and I approve this message. Now, I know somebody's going to probably call me retarded, to be expected, but you know what? That's okay. Everybody has a right to their own opinion.